All right, Al, happy new year, guys. Coming up, we'll look back at all the drama. A great final Sunday of the regular season, including the champs. Philly wins three in a row to get back in the playoffs. They got some help from the Bears, where they'll meet Sunday on NBC. Plus, Baltimore returns to the postseason for the first time in four years. That, all the latest coaching news. Toyota halftime comes up, so don't touch the remote. Want to stay up to date? Hey, Siri, show me football standings. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places. Some jitters. This is the last playoff spot. You got to win this game. Colts were in control of it up 14-0. Then this luck interception by Jayon Brown who scooped up a fumble later on. That's helped keep Tennessee in it. 17-10 Indianapolis at the break. In game 256, Mike Tirico, Rodney Harrison, Tony Dungy, winner in, loser out. And that first half, uh, boy, it was not a good one for Tennessee. No, it wasn't for Tennessee. But if I'm Frank Reich in the Indianapolis locker room, I'm upset. We've dominated the game. Tennessee's done nothing on offense, and they're in it because of interceptions, fumbles, and penalties. I look at Blaine Gabbard. He looked nervous in the first half. Mm -hmm. He just needs to settle down. There are some plays to be made in the passing game, and he can make them. All right, the winner gets in. If it's a tie, by the way, Pittsburgh <laughs> yes. would get in. So Steeler fans, only a seven-point game. Here's the wild card schedule <laughs> for next weekend. Winner of the last game here will play the first game on Wild Card Weekend at Houston. ESPN and ABC will have that. Fox on Saturday night will have Seattle in Dallas. That'll be a great matchup. Sunday, it's the Chargers in Baltimore, reprise of a game we saw two weeks ago. And we'll have Philly, Chicago in the late window Sunday afternoon here on NBC. Let's uh, break down these games. If you're Houston, who do you want to see? Oh, I'm definitely rooting for Tennessee. I do not want to see the Colts, Andrew Luck, and that fast defense. That would bother Houston. All right, the Saturday night game, Seattle and Dallas. What do you I think, think it there? comes down to the quarterbacks. And, Mike, I've said it and I've said it before that I trust Russell Wilson more than any quarterback in the NFC, especially going against Dak Prescott. Wow, let's move to the Sunday afternoon games. I mentioned two weeks ago, Chargers, Ravens, won by the Ravens in L.A. Yes, it was, but I think that actually helps the Chargers. Most teams see this read option, Lamar Jackson offense only once, and it's hard to prepare for. The Chargers have seen it. They should be able to make some adjustments. What a seven-game run by the Ravens, and we'll have Philly Chicago Sunday afternoon. Your thoughts? Yeah, and I look at Mitchell Trubisky. I know he's an inexperienced quarterback, but I don't think the moment is too big for him. I think everything is set up perfectly for him to win this football game. He's got a great run game. He's got a great defense. Mm -hmm. He has an offensive coordinator, head coach that understands him. And I really think the pressure is going to be on Doug Peterson yeah. to find a way to slow down Khalil Mack and that defensive front. You need those read options, different things to slow them down. That's going to be the big challenge. And we'll watch all week. How healthy is Nick Foles? Had a chest injury, had to come out late in the game. Now, the winners on this weekend will survive to the following weekend of the divisional playoffs. We'll be in Kansas City, guys. Three Eastern pregame to lead you up to Kansas City. Outside? The, we'll be outside. <laughs> the forecast is 40. I looked already. Yes. Rams in the late window Saturday night on Fox. On Sunday afternoon, the Patriots will be home as a tradition continues with uh, New England getting a bye. And New Orleans will take on the uh, late low seed in the NFC Sunday afternoon, two weeks from now on Fox. Playoff time. Still the cup. Best action from today. Sunday in 60, but first, Toyota plays a game of tag and shows us just how fun it is to be it. A 67 yard bomb, and Patrick Mahomes now has hit 5,000 yards passing and 50 touchdowns. Tom Brady's best throw of the month of December, right there to Rex Burkhead. On the money, touchdown, Patriots. He's in for a second touchdown. His pass is intercepted, and the Ravens are in the playoffs. Corey Littleton, his second interception of the game. Touchdown, Brandon Cooks. Howard searching for the goal line and punctures the end zone. Oh, lucky. Fire. Complete. Touchdown. That will do it here in Minnesota. The Vikings fade to black. Unfortunately, it's 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 over for this year. Oh, fire. Complete. A lot of excitement, a lot of jubilation in the uh, in the locker room. So Philly's back to defend their championship. Six or seven new teams in the playoffs, depending on tonight's result with Mike Florio. The teams who don't get to the playoffs think about a new future. We've had coaches let go in the last two and a half hours. Mike officially confirmed by the teams. Todd Bowles out with the Jets. Dirk Cutter out with Tampa. What other spots are you watching? Well, we're definitely keep, keeping close watch on Arizona and Steve Wilkes. That one is expected to happen any minute now, really. And also Denver and Coach Vance Joseph after two seasons. And also watch South Florida. Stephen Ross, the owner of the Dolphins, undecided about what to do 
do with Coach Adam Gase. I'm told, though, that if something does happen there, it won't happen quickly. Interim situations in Cleveland and Green Bay. What's the future here with the Packers search? Well, the Packers already started their search before Week 17, interviewing some coaches who are available. But offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels of the Patriots, we've confirmed that they will be requesting permission to interview him. And also linebackers coach Brian Flores of the Patriots on that list, among others, this week for the Patriots. And over the years, we've learned there's always a curveball out of left field that you don't see coming. Anything that might be something to watch? Well, you know, whatever label we would apply, whether it's mm -hmm. firing, resignation, or mutual parting, people are keeping an eye on Minnesota. They're just watching. No, no fire sure. yet, but they're just they're keeping an eye on that. That's interesting. The Vikings losing their opportunity, and Kirk Cousins, you heard him there, disappointed at the result today. Mike, thank you. Eric Ebron, what a great season. It's been terrific to see Eric Ebron outperform his entire four years in Detroit. This year with the Colts, 14 touchdowns total in the year, and the drum line leading the Colts to a seven-point lead. They get the ball when the second half comes your way after this. This has been the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places.